Hi everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a reseller. I've been reselling for 17 years and 11 months. Next month will be 18 years and I absolutely love it. It was the perfect job for me to be able to stay home, raise my kids and make a really good income. And one of my favorite things to do is go to the Goodwill Outlet Center or the bins where you pay by the pound. And if you haven't ever been there before, I go to the bins normally in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and it is just overflowing bins of shoes and clothing and hard goods and you dig and dig and dig and sometimes you have to go through quite a few things and then you find a treasure and it's just so exciting. This trip I went on a Friday afternoon and I spent three hours and four minutes. I found nine pairs of adult shoes, two pairs of children's shoes and 29 pounds of clothing. The adult shoes were $2.29 each. Children's shoes are $1.29 each. And if you get at least 25 pounds of clothing, it's just 99 cents a pound. And I purchased 29 pounds of clothing. Let's pause this haul for a couple minutes and go back three days ago to when I went shopping at the bins. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. I started in the shoe area and spent one hour and 10 minutes looking for shoes. Did you see that beige pair of flats? Those are fries. I found fry for the first time ever. I found three pairs of dance goes, but they were all in such poor condition that I ended up putting them back after inspecting them. I ended up bringing home 11 pairs of shoes, and this is the bin that I sorted through. I just pick one bin usually, and I look through every single pair from the top of the bin to the very bottom from one end to the other. That's my pile. I end up piling it up really high as I'm sorting through to the bottom, but that's how I often find matches is just digging to the very bottom. Then I will go through and I will look up each pair of shoes using Google Lens or style names, style numbers, or just keywords. I will look up how much they're worth, what the sell-through rate is, and then I'll really pay attention to the condition of the shoes. For example, these Rockports, excellent shoes. They sell for great money, great sell-through rate. But when I looked at them, they were in such poor condition and the back of the heel was so extremely worn that I didn't feel like I should pick them up. Next, I moved to clothing and I spent the remaining of my time, almost two hours, sorting through clothing. And I use the same strategy. I find a bin that is kind of away from everybody else and I dig from top to bottom looking at every single thing in that bin. And I find that usually the best items are at the very bottom because most people skim the surface and then move on to a different bin. So I love digging and finding what is at the very, very bottom. And today was crazy because if you see, there are not a lot of people. And so I should have that bin just all to myself. I kept on having people come like right next to me, like 
practically shoulder to shoulder when there was all this space that they could go and they would kind of pick through the same things that I was picking through. So that was a little different. I kept thinking, is someone playing a joke on me? Why does this keep happening? But it ended up working out and I found lots of things, but I wasn't able to video as much as I wanted to because people were right next to me. I had two things that already sold almost immediately. So I'm going to show you those two things, package them up, get them out the door before the mailman comes to pick them up, and then I will show you the rest of the haul. Okay, these two items sold really fast. These sold the same day. These are Carhartt and they are just a pair of canvas pants. And if you'll notice, they have staining all over them. They are a size 34, 34. However, when I measured them, they measured, I think 33 by 32. So on the title, I put tag 3434 measures 3332. That way, if someone's searching by 3332, they'll be able to find this pair. And so I just put that they were in overall good condition. They don't have a lot of wear, but they do have staining. Well, they sold the same day and someone had sent me an offer, super low, $8. I countered back, they countered back with $9. And so I just left it alone. Someone comes along and pays full price for them. I would have still made a profit since I got these at the bins. I made a better profit by holding out for full price because I know these sell. So when I put in the shipping, I put two pounds priority now. But when I went to ship them, it was going to be like 1072 to put them by weight in this Tyvex envelope, which is easier than shoving them in a flat rate, but it saved $3 if I could mail them in a flat rate envelope. And so I did a padded flat rate on this one because I want to show you both of them. This is the padded flat rate envelope. So it is much easier if you package them and put them in a plastic bag first. It ju they just slide in so much better. And I just ordered 500 of these and I ordered the wrong ones. I have the ones that I love linked down below. I read that you're not allowed to click on your own link for Amazon if you provide links. So I was sure not to click on my own link and I went to a different window and tried to find them and I ordered the wrong ones and these are not refillable. So although they're still good bags, they're not the ones that I love. The ones that I love, you can open and reseal and these are so much better. So I'm gonna have to find a way to be sure I order the next ones after I run out of these 500, but these are still good. And so if you just put them in the plastic first, squeeze all the air out, they just slide in so much easier. And I usually put a sticker. This is my thank you sticker. Oh, and it's the beginning of June. And so um, it's time to order eBay shipping supplies. The quarterly coupon just came out. So if you have an eBay store, don't forget to order your quarterly supplies. And I have a video on different supplies and how to order it if you need to know. So I just put that in my flat rate padded envelope and put the sticker on top. Make sure that was the right one. I have my little Love to Shop 242 stickers. Put that on. And then another item that sold super fast was a brand that I keep on saying in videos. They have really come back and that is Abercrombie. And these are Abercrombie Kids and they are a boys size 16. And they are in really nice condition. And one thing that I love about listing jeans is you can usually find out what kind they are. Inside it says the A and F boot. 
and these sold I think in one day and I got a nice offer and then they even sent me a note thank you for accepting my offer so super nice buyer on these same thing by sending them in a flat rate envelope I can save about three dollars I'm in Oklahoma if it was going to Oklahoma or Texas or somewhere close to me it really doesn't save much so it's easier to just put it in a Tyvex envelope but when they go across the country this one's going to Virginia. I save $3 by putting it in a flat rate envelope. These prices are by printing the postage online. And you can see they selected USPS priority mail by weight and it's $10.64. I can select a flat rate as long as it still goes USPS priority mail because it's the same service. The priority flat rate envelope is $7.52 or if I want to use the legal size, which is a little bigger, that's $7.81 or if I want to use a priority mail flat rate padded envelope, that's $8.20. And the regular flat rate envelope is a little bit less expensive than the padded. So when I can do the flat rate, I do that. I just did the padded just to show you the other option. And so I will just put this in my bag. And these have gotten so much smaller through the years. When I first started reselling almost 18 years ago, I one time fit two pairs of jeans in a flat rate envelope. And I think they were like, dollars and 75 cents or something like it's that. It's amazing how much they've gone up. My sticker on. I remember when there was a price hike, there was all this drama about how people weren't going to pay the $4 shipping. That's the end of eBay. So much drama and it's like seven, eight dollars. And you know what? eBay's still going strong. So then check my label, Abercrombie. And I try to put this right on the seam so that help seal it and I'll put my little shop girl sticker and then I'm going to go put these outside for my carrier to pick them up and I will do the rest of the haul okay I will show you the shoes that I found first this is a brand I hear about people finding all the time that I had never found it before it is fry and for the first time I found it, it wasn't the best pair. They're a little bit worn. And on some of them that I looked up, it said it was distressed leather. So I don't know if that's just the look of them because the bottoms look pretty nice actually, but you can tell that they have had some wear from the inside. They're called the Regina Ballet in size seven and a half. And I saw some really high comps, but I think I will probably end up getting about $30 for these since they do have some wear. I believe I listed them for, I think about $50 or so, so that I have some room to negotiate. But that is the symbol and look at the backs, that's so cute. And the leather is so soft. So I was excited to find Fry for the first time. And when I got the shoes, I had a huge basket full of shoes and I just go through, I filled up my basket, then I looked up comps and I probably put away over half of them and just chose 11 to bring home. The next pair was a pair of Lauren, Ralph Lauren, red leather flats and the bottoms look really good and they have the logo at the back and they do show a little wear on the inside but overall they're in pretty nice condition and I think I'll probably get maybe $20, $22 out of these so not bad for a $2.29 investment. Then these, these are mini Tonka and they are size 6.5 and they are the softest, nicest suede. And I actually found about four things by this brand, but these were the only pair that I brought home and they just look like they're still in really good shape. And I think I'll probably get about 22 to $25 for this pair. Then I got a pair of Lucky Brand Ballet Flats in this leopard print. And wow, when I felt the foot bed on this, it feels like memory foam. It is so soft. These are the LKME size eight and a half medium, and they still look 
great on the bottom. They even still have the size dot sticker is still attached. And so I think I'll get about $20 for these also. Often I have found when I go to the bins, I'll find a lot of things that will be $20, $22. And then I'll end up finding one item that's like a $50 or $60 item. But most of the things are usually in the $20, $22, $25 range. Then the next one is a great brand to look out for in running shoes. These are Ultras and I used Google Lens and was quickly able to find out the exact name for them. And the tread looks good on them. They look great, except for one of them, the shoelace is cut off. So that's not great. And the interior does not look amazing, but if, if these were in excellent condition, I would expect to get about $55, but since they do have some wear, I think I'll still be able to get about $30 on those. Then a pair for me, I thought these were so cute. These are BCBG Girl and I tried them on and they fit and they have this flap. They are a really soft suede. So I thought those were super cute. So that one's a keeper for me. Then I got a pair of these leather white woven sling bags. They are called the Sassy and they are size 10 and a half. I like selling 10 and a half for women and they are the brand Trotters, which does not sell for a lot. I think they'll probably sell for $18 or so. They have a little scuff on the side. The bottoms look great though. So I don't think these will sell for a lot, but again, spending a couple dollars to turn it into 18, it's fine with me at the bins and it adds up. Then I got a couple little pairs of shoes. I thought these were so cute, so soft, in nice condition. These are Oshkosh by gosh. US size 10 and they were only $1.29 so I couldn't resist those and I think maybe they'll sell for like $15 or so. And then I got these cute little boots and they do not look like they have had hardly any wear at all. They are a size eight and they have this little faux fur lining and a little butterfly on the side and I had I did not recognize the brand and I could not quite see it in there and I can't see it now, but I will pop it up because I've already listed it. But I thought, you know what, for $1.29, I'm going to go ahead and try it because these are so cute. And I think they'll probably only sell for about $12, but they're super cute. I don't think I can go to the bins without getting a pair of Toms. And I had just sold one either the same day or the day before for like $15.50 for not as good of a size or color. So I see this pair in black. They look in pretty good condition and they are a size 11. After I finished recording, I realized these are actually a men's pair. They are a men's size 11. So a really great size, great color. The comps on eBay show that they'll probably sell for around $20 plus shipping on Poshmark, they would probably sell for around $25 to $28. So those were a great find, better than I even thought. Next, we'll move on to clothing. I got 29 pounds of clothing. The first item, I seem to find formal wear quite a bit at the bins and people just pass it up, but it often will be some of my highest selling things that I find at the bins. And this is Vera Wang Maids, size 14, so an excellent size. It's in great condition. It is this tool material. This is my listing. I try to make sure that the first photo has a white background and it is the full complete item. Then I have some without a white background and I also like to include pictures with measurements so that they can see exactly how I measured. I always show the tag with the size, the material, and for keywords and tags that I like to put on formal wear, I like to put things like wedding, formal, bridesmaid. I also sometimes will add prom in there. Those are good keywords for formal Wear. Then this one is a vintage tank and I found a sole comp for this exact tank for $61. I thought it was vintage because of the paper tag and because it also says made in the USA. And as I researched, I found out it was from the 90s. It is a size large. So what I did was I found one comp for $61 and then I found another one for like $20. And I thought, I don't want to sell myself short on it. I would rather take a little bit longer to sell it and try to aim for that higher amount. 
this is my listing. What I did was I took the item that sold for the highest, $61, and I went into their listing and looked to see exactly how they listed their item, how they created their title, what their description was like, their shipping and everything. And I modeled my listing after theirs. I clicked on sell similar and then I just tweaked it to fit my listing. I started my listing out high because I want to see if I can sell it for that high amount. Then if it's been three or four months, I might drop it about 10% and continue to monitor how much activity it is getting. But something like this might take a year to sell, but it is completely worth it to me if I spend a quarter on it and can hold it for a year and sell it for around 50 or $60. I think that's excellent. Then, I usually Dallas Cowboy stuff sells well, and my husband's a big Dallas Cowboys fan, so I thought if I don't sell this, I can wear this next time he puts on a game. I thought that's kind of cute, and I could wear that. It says NFL Reebok, and it is a size large, and it looks like someone cut it off themselves. So I just put that in the listing and put measurements, and I think that's really cute as a cutoff style. I think I'll probably get like $12 for it, but I might also get to wear it in the meantime before it sells. And if it doesn't sell, then I'm good with wearing it. Then I found another top that I could probably keep and wear also. It is Adidas and it's just a cute crop top, but I noticed after I got home and washed it that it had a couple of like bleach stains, but it's so oversized when you put it on, it kind of like ripples up so you can't really see it. So I just put that on the listing and I've already had a little bit of interest in it. So I think it will still sell, not for a lot, maybe like $12 or so. I think it only cost around 23 cents by weight. Then I like picking up pink and Victoria's Secret. This one, I found comps that were really good for it. I already listed it. I put it on Macari first and I already had likes on it. And I think this will actually sell for around $20 and it is a size extra large, which is a great size. Then this is a Tony Hawk skateboarding shirt and I believe it is vintage size extra large as the detail on the sleeves. And this one, there are some sold comps for Tony Hawk long sleeve t-shirts for really high. I think the highest one was $119. And then I found other comps for like $14.99. So I'm going to start it out high and then I will just slowly lower it until I find the right price or the right buyer. I decided to send it out for a seven day eBay auction. That gives it the opportunity to get bid up. I can also see what kind of activity it gets. If it does not receive a bid, then I'm going to put it as a buy it now for around $100 and just let it sit for a little while and see if it will sell at that amount. And if not, I will slowly lower it until I find the right buyer. Then I finally found Madewell jeans. I found Madewell jeans one time, but they were in olive green and they had a lot of pulling right here, but they were my size, so I kept them. But this is a really good pair, I think. Here is the Madewell tag and here is the back. These are the perfect vintage jean in size 28. And I thought, they have holes. I thought these were great. I found some really good comps. I already listed them and had some interest in them. I think I can probably get about $30 for this pair. Then I found Talbots. I've been on a Talbots kick because the things just keep on selling. And this one is new with tags. And the retail value was $109. It is a size 10. And it has these dots. It has two sheer layers and I just thought it was really pretty. I started it out high. I thought since it's new with tags, I'm going to start it out about 50% of the retail value, but I think I'll probably actually only get about $28 for it, but I still, I think that's great because it's so lightweight. It costs less than 50 cents and so if I can get $28 for it, that's excellent. And then this one, I wish was my size because this is totally my style. I love this color. I love this paisley pattern. The back has little bows 
These, the two bows at the bottom don't come undone, but the top one ties. So it has three bows up the back. It is Banana Republic and it has the three dots. So it would be factory and it's side, it's eight. And it is just so cute. I love this dress. As much as I love it, I don't think it'll sell for a ton, but I think I'll be able to get like $16, $18 for it. Then another Talbot's and this one is T by Talbot's and it is a size MP, so medium petite, and it's just an open cardigan. It has pockets, it has a hood, so I would put hood and hoodie. It has a drawstring with tassels at the end. This would be good to wear to the pool or to the beach as a cover-up, so I thought that was super cute, and I think that'll sell for around 18 or $20. Then this one is Lucky brand, size extra, extra large. And I picked this up just because I liked the graphic. It says, love our planet, be kind. I love things that say be kind. I usually pick them up regardless. And I'm like, somebody will want that. And there were a lot of them listed, but not a lot of them in extra, extra large. But I think I'll probably get about 14 to $16 for this and really lightweight, like probably 30 cents on that one. Then this is another one that I picked up just because I thought it was cute. This is the brand Boohoo and it is a size US four and I think it's pretty fitted. It looks pretty small for a four and it says, when life gives you lemons, make a cocktail. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cute. And so another one that costs less than a quarter and I'll probably get 12, $14 for it, but I thought that was adorable. Then a pair of Levi's Strauss. These are a 33 by 34 Carpenter. I find that the Carpenter style usually sells well. Here's the tag in the back. And they are, they have, they have a few stains and pink splatters, but not too bad. But I think they'll still sell just fine for around $15 to $18. This one is Pretty Little Thing. Here's the tag, Pretty Little Thing. It is a US size 18, so great size. And it's just kind of a sheer bodysuit with this oversized neckline. It's new with tags. I couldn't wash it, so I steamed it really well. But I think I'll probably be able to get around $25 for this one. Then one of my favorite brands, Vanity Fair and this is a long red sleeveless nightgown. I thought it was so pretty. It has a little trim at the bottom. Walking out and I could just see the satin material from far away. And even though I was trying to leave, I went and grabbed it, pulled it out, looked at the tag, and sure enough, it was Vanity Fair. So I was super excited to get another Vanity Fair nightgown. I think it is about a size small or medium. I have not listed it yet. I think this will be the next thing that I list. And I expect to get about $35 to $40 for this. If you're not subscribed and would like to join me again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you hit the notification bell, it will let you know when I release new videos. And if you wouldn't mind taking a moment to give me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it so much. Thank you. Then this is a Kawasaki jacket and it was just in really nice condition. And I went back and forth on getting it. I wasn't really sure. Kawasaki, size medium. And according to the measurements, I think it's a women's jacket, but it has a really nice quilted lining. It has lots of zip pockets. It is cinched on the side, which also made me think it was women's. And it also has a zipper on the sleeve. I sold a jacket by this brand, but I'm guessing I can probably get 30 to $35 for it. There are some Kawasaki jackets that you definitely want to be on the lookout for that sell for a lot of money, specifically if they are leather and they have a lot of branding on them. Some of them can sell for a really high amount. So that is one thing I like about picking up things at the bins as I research them. I will sort high to low on the sold comps so I can see what sells really high and then I will be aware of that 
item. So if I come across a Kawasaki jacket that looks like one of these that sells for a really high amount, I have that knowledge now. So if I find something great, even if it's summer, I will pick up winter things because sometimes people will not pick those up because they're only looking for summer things. So I think it's great to be able to source those things in the summer. Then I got another Talbot's item, size large, which is a great size. And it's a multicolored earthy tones, cardigan. The fabric content is 50% wool, 40% acrylic, and 10% alpaca. Great material, so I picked that up and I'm betting this will probably not sell for a little while, but when it does, I think it will sell for around $35. Next, I got this Fabletics sleeveless draped cardigan jacket. It has an interior drawstring. Here's the tag, Fabletics size extra, extra large. And Fabletics always sells really well for me, usually not for a lot of money, but I think I can probably get 20, $22. Watch my what sold videos, I will be sure and let you know how much they actually sold for and what my profit was, what platform they sold on and how many days to sell. So if you're not subscribed, be sure that you subscribe down below. And if you hit the notification bell, it will let you know when I release new videos. Then I got a pair of running shorts and I cut the liner out of these, but these are A6 running shorts. And the reason I cut the liner out was because I kept them for myself. And the funny thing was, was I wanted to run that day while I was in Oklahoma City. So I packed a bag and I had some of my running clothes out on my dresser. Somehow I forgot them. And I went to go change to go for a run after I went to the bins. I didn't have my shorts or my running shirt. So I hurried and ran to Dick's and spent $28 on a brand new pair of shorts. In my trunk, I had a pair of more expensive shorts. These are ASICs, so these are better running shorts than what I actually purchased. I probably paid a quarter for these. So I'm keeping these, they fit, I love them. They're great running shorts. So I will be running in these this week. They weren't washed, so I wouldn't have wanted to wear them then, but I can wear them now, but it just kills me to pay $28 for something when I know I find these things at the bins. So although this one I'm not going to sell, if I went out and purchased these at the store, I think they're probably about $35 or $40 for a pair of ASICs running shorts. And I got the dress that I have on and I thought it was just a cute summer dress. It's just forever 21, but I was like, oh, hey, I like that, I'll keep it. So I got this little summer dress for me. Then I got this tank and it is the brand Nicole by Nicole Miller. And it looked like it was probably a size extra large or two extra large. So I grabbed this one without even looking it up because I thought it would probably sell for at least 12 or $14. And I knew it probably only cost about a quarter. Then I got this, it is brand new with tags and it is this long cardigan, it's polyester, it feels like satin, it is the brand Gin in Joe, and I think it will sell for around $20, $22. This is, I'm thinking this is vintage, and it's, I'm not sure how to say that, Basu Basu. It has a retail value of $60, and I'm not sure if this is vintage or not, I'm gonna have to look it up, but I thought it was kind of cute, and, I, looking at the comps, I don't think it will sell for a ton of money, but it is also, I think it will also fit me. So I thought if it doesn't sell, I would probably wear that. So it will either sell for $20, $25, or it will end up in my own personal closet. And the same with this one. I thought this was really cute and I thought, you know what? That would probably fit me. I could wear that in a YouTube video and then sell it. And it is the brand THML and I looked it up and it actually had some pretty good comps better than I thought and it has this pretty embroidery and I was actually surprised by the comps I think it will probably sell for around $20 $25 then this shirt looked like maybe it was something so I picked it up and it is the brand Rise as One and it's a size extra large and I have found men's clothes often sell a lot faster for me than women's clothes. The two things that have sold already were a pair of men's pants 
and a pair of boys jeans. So that says something to me. So this one I looked up and I don't think it's worth a lot. It might sell for 16 or $18. When I recorded this haul, I had just looked up the comps on eBay and it looked like about $16 or $18. So I looked it up on Poshmark also. I looked to see what was available and what had sold and it actually looked a little better on Poshmark. Not a lot, but maybe $20 or $22. And the size is good, extra large. I think the colors are great. It's in excellent condition. So I'm thinking I can get probably about $20 to $22. I love picking up pink at the bins. This is a size medium, and it's just a hoodie that says pink. It has pockets, and there is not a drawstring. I find that all the time. I'll pick up things without a drawstring, but usually the Victoria's Secret or pink hoodies without a drawstring will still sell, and probably $14 or so, but usually those are a quick flip. Then I love picking up Hard Rock Cafe. And this is Hard Rock Cafe New York, and it is a size large, and I have not looked it up yet, but I know these things always sell for me, and it's probably not one that's super rare. So probably $15, $17. If it's different, I will pop that up. Then this one, I had to pick this up. This is pretty close to where I live. I pass Winniewood, Oklahoma every time I go to Oklahoma City and see Tiger King signs. And so I thought, oh, I have to just pick that up. And I think that would fit me. I can keep it or see if it will sell for something. I bet something like this would sell for $12 or $14. I think that's kind of funny because I know there was, I haven't seen the Netflix show, but a lot of people have talked about it and I listened to a podcast about it. So I thought I have to pick that up then additions by Chico's and this is a size two and on Chico's you just always want to look up their size chart and see what size two is equivalent to what I normally do on any of the Chico's lines, I will just go to their website, take a screenshot of their size chart, and then I will put a colorful box around the size of the item so they can see the exact equivalency and have a visual for that. And something like this usually sells for around $14 or $16. Then I always have to pick up Harry Potter. I'll ask Morgan if she wants this because my daughter Morgan absolutely loves Harry Potter and this is so cute. And it is a size extra small. So she will probably want that. If not, I will sell it. Another Harry Potter shirt, platform nine and three fourths. And it is an extra small. So I'm guessing those will both go to Morgan. If not, I would probably sell those for around 10 or $12 each. Then another Victoria's Secret. And this is kind of an oversized slouchy, has a really wide neckline. I'm betting it goes like off shoulder. It's a size large. It is knotted at the side. And so I haven't looked at comps yet, but I'm guessing something like this would sell for 16 or $18. Then I picked up a maternity shirt. I thought it was just really pretty and a good size. It's size extra large, motherhood maternity. And here's the front and the back. I just thought it was really pretty and excellent condition. And so I thought this'll, this'll probably sell for 10 or $12. Then this one I'm going to keep because it is so incredibly soft and it is the brand Orvis and it is size small and I wish you could, it is just unbelievably soft and I love wearing just cozy things like this at home when I'm working at home. So this one is a keeper for me. And I picked up a couple American Eagle shirts and sometimes I'll take these and save them and lock them up together. But isn't this cute? I really liked this one. It is a size four, so that would fit a small and super cute. And I found this American Eagle shirt also right next to it and it is just a sheer lightweight pretty colors and it is a size small so i could lock these two together and probably they would sell for 14 15 dollars or i might keep them myself and then i also found this Woolrich shirt and i didn't know if this would sell or not but the comps didn't look great it's a size medium but i thought i would wear this and put i'd wear the, like this little white tank top 
wear this shirt over it and then like some denim cut off shorts. And so I think that would be really cute. So I will probably just keep this for myself. And then I got this, this, this looks very vintage and it's got this waistband and zebra print. And I just thought, I love that. I've got to get this. And it says Cantana USA and it is a small, a size small. So I couldn't resist this and I didn't find a lot on comp. So I think I'll just list this and put that it's vintage and hope to get 18 or $20 for that. Then another shirt for me, I got a lot of stuff this day. This is just a nice American Eagle soft and sexy t-shirt size small. So I could actually, if I decided not to keep that American Eagle stuff, I got three American Eagle shirts, all size small. I could easily lock those together. All three of them together didn't even weigh a pound, so they wouldn't even be 99 cents. And that would be an easy sell if I put them all together. So I'll try them on. And then this is just an ASOS t-shirt size large and these are not worth a lot alone but i think i have a couple more of these waiting to be listed so when it's something like that at the bins and they might only sell for eight dollars individually but i can pick them up at the bins for like a quarter each lot three of them up and sell them for twenty dollars that makes it worth it to me so i thought i will just pick that up and add that to my collection and then the last thing was this mini mouse tank top and i usually pick up disney things and it says disney size medium and this one was not a jackpot one but usually disney things are easy sells okay so that is everything from the haul that took me three hours and four minutes it cost 57 dollars, and i will pop up an estimate of how much I think everything is going to sell for. And be sure you watch my what sold video so you can see how much everything actually sells for and how long it takes everything to sell. Thank you so much for watching and everybody have a great day. Bye.